Hey there, Brittany Flammer here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to customize and use your net worth tracker in Google Sheets. I'm just using the spreadsheet I sell in my shop for a couple of dollars, and I'm gonna give you a few tips to help you use it. So let's hop onto the computer. I've got the spreadsheet open, but let's say I don't like these colors. If you don't like the colors, or maybe they don't look great on your computer screen, you can change them. So let's take this green asset section, and we just select what we wanna change. Come up here to this paint bucket or fill color, click on it, you can do a custom color and type in the number or drag along here. Let's say I just wanna choose one of their prefill. Let's go with purple. That's how we change the color. If you decide you don't like it, you can just do Control Z or Command Z to undo it or use the back arrow here to undo it. Or let's say you wanna take away the color and take it back to white. Go back up to this fill color and just click reset. It will reset to default, which is white. Um, now let's go ahead and customize it. Um, for our cash assets, uh, let's say I have some cash on hand and I have a checking account. I also have a business checking. And let's say I have several more accounts, so I need more. So I can add more rows if I need more. Add as many as you need. But we want to make sure we don't delete any of the formulas. So these rows, the total rows here, are where all of the formulas are, right here, down here. These are all formulas. We don't wanna delete those rows, but we can add more rows. We just wanna make sure we don't add at the very top or very bottom. So here is the very bottom of this section, so I don't wanna add right here. If I add right here, right click, insert one row, the formatting is gonna be wonky and it will not be included in the formula. So see the formula here goes through C4 through C8, so it goes through there, it's not gonna be included. Um, so I just wanna make sure I add in the middle. So right here is fine. Let's right click, insert one row below. And if you need to insert five, you can insert as many as you need. Just do it in the middle, not the top or the bottom. So let's say I have an online savings account as well as um, an emergency fund. And if they don't fit, you wanna make them fit, you can double click right up here and it will give you more space. Um, for investments, I have mutual funds and an IRA. But let's say I don't have any more investments, so I can delete them. As long as I'm not deleting one of these rows of formulas, just come over here, select, oops, select these two rows, right click, delete rows. Let's say physical, we have a house and we have one car, but we don't have any other physical assets, so let's select to the left where I want to delete, right click, delete row. And for debt, now for debts, let's type out our debts. Uh, let's say we have a credit card, student loans, we have a car loan, we have mortgage. But let's say we have more student loans, so we need to add more. So we can add more, as many as we need, we just don't wanna add it on this bottom row right here. So let's do it somewhere right in here, right click, insert one. So let's say we have two student loans. Okay, now we have it customized to us. Now let's go in and type in information. Um, previous column, this is just what our net worth was from the previous year, because this shows us a year at a time. So let's say this is down here, I have it titled 2022 for this year. Let's say for 2021, December 2021, our net worth was $150,000. We'll just type that in. And then let's go ahead and enter in the amounts. Let's say we have, I'm just making up numbers. We have 5,000 in cash. 2,000 in checking, 1,000 in business checking, 1,000 online savings, 5,000 in our emergency fund. It's automatically gonna, woo, it's automatically gonna total this for us. Now moving on to investments. Mutual funds, we have 15,000. IRA, we have 20,000. Automatically totaling it for me. And now our house, we wanna type in how much our house is worth. I just use Zillow to get this estimate. It's not most accurate, but it's really easy. Whatever you use, just consistently use the same thing. And so let's say our house is worth $350,000. We write how much it's worth if we were to sell it today. And our car, same thing, look Kelly Blue Book to get an idea of how much it's worth. Let's say our car is worth 5,000. So our total assets are 404,000. But now we need to calculate the debts. So we have to add our credit card. Let's say we have $5,000 balance on our credit card. And student loans, we have one for 2,000, but then we have one that's 22,000. Um, our car loan has 3,000 left on it. And our mortgage, so this is how much we owe on our house still. Let's say we owe 140,000 on it. So it's automatically gonna calculate our total debt 
and it's going to figure out your net worth for you. So our net worth in January is 232,000, which means it's up, the change means how much it's gone up or down from the previous month. So it's gone up 82,000 or 54%, which is awesome, but it will automatically calculate those changes for you as you go. You just can't enter zero for previous. So if you haven't been tracking your net worth previously, just enter one and it will be able to calculate for you. If you enter in zero, it's not gonna work for you. So just if you don't have a previous net worth, enter in one. And I also like to note the date where I do this because if you check it at the beginning of one month next and then the end of one month, it will affect your net worth. So let's say we did it on the 31st. I personally like to try to do consistently month to month, but um, just having the date written there helps. So. If you have any questions about how to use your net worth tracker, let me know in the comments down below and I will try to answer them as best I can. Thanks so much. See you in the next video.